Weezy, I don't know. Weezy. Hey, KBZ, you fired up. Yeah, nowadays I get what I want. Really been spinning up bad. I did it to get in that cat. I did it to pop in them tanks. Money was made for the sad. I think you got it. Stone. What? People are gonna think that they're getting robbed, dude. It's a good thing I'm quick, like a ninja, you know. Did you just say you're quick? Oh, I'm quick. You didn't the only thing you're me. quick to do is go to the toilet. What's that? Dude. Huh? Oh man. Lift stopped mid mid go. At least we're not really high. Mmm, yeah. Dude, we got it. I'm telling you. Bro. Would it make you nervous if we picked this up? <laughs> <laughs> Just real quick. We gotta go to the big one. Huh? <laughs> Why not? Dude, there's not even a line. Exactly. So that's perfect. Because no one wants to go. Because we're men, dude. How is you feeling, bro? You're really scared, huh? Yes. Woo, buddy. This one's steep, dude. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Stuff's called devil spit. Oh yeah, definitely not yeah. that. I think I'll pass on devil oh spit. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is just for us in. three? Yeah. Well, you never know. You might get hungry later on in the night. No, you know you will. We add two pounds of pulled pork. We get... Oh, jeez, son. <laughs> so, it's pretty much been a nightly routine of mine. I'm at this park. There's this really cool skate. It goes on for miles and it ends at like this bridge with this overlook of the city at night. So cool. Well, I end it every night with this hill. What you do is you find two rocks, these are your brakes, and you freaking send it from the top, baby. I feel like I don't ever look like I know what I'm doing. No. no. Stone, why are we back? We gotta shoot a desert eagle before we go. A golden camo. No, yeah. golden what? Golden tiger print. Golden tiger print desert eagle. That's a 50 cal. Yes, sir. Wait till you see the bullets. Are they long? Not really long, mostly fat. They're fatter than like a. What is it? Is it that much fatter than like a 45? Not anymore. I think we got him. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't even feel right holding. Oh my. Holy crap. All right. Jeez. God, I'm See ya, crazy. boy.
face. Holy cow. I genuinely don't think I'll ever shoot that again. No, I don't. I don't think I will. <laughs> Excuse me, partner. Oh, what the Sorry, I just gotta go. Stone almost cried. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. <laughs> we need a gas can. We were at like half a tank of gas, and there yeah, wasn't a gas station. It, all right, it looks kind of sketchy out here. Yeah. I mean, there's dinosaurs, and it is a little sketchy. But <laughs> Stone was like almost crying and having a panic attack because. He was afraid we were going to run out of gas with like half a tank. But look at this gas station we're at. It's inside the mountain. Wow. 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 Mass That's not required. Oh, I Do so it. love this place. <laughs> searching for a place nicknamed Mars and the reason why it's called Mars is because it's the closest thing we have on the entire planet to Mars. Any research that's done in the entire world about Mars is done here in Utah. Any movies that are filmed uh, on another planet are done within like 20 miles of where we are. Uh, but we can't find it. It's frustrating but it's getting dark and we gotta head out. So this trip we will definitely not be hitting Mars unfortunately but one day. Like, look at that! Dude! Yep. You just can't tell, but the mountains are different colors. I got some shots on the drone I'll throw up. The mountains are like layered in blue and purple and white, and there's crazy rock structures in. And we saw a lot of things. We, get, we knew we were getting close, but the only way to truly get there was a pretty serious hike. And like, look at that. The mountains are different colors and ah, oh, Stone, we're so close. So close. <laughs> Focus on your face right now. You're doing the tongue thing. I'm not. Yes, you are. No, You're I'm trying not, not to. Screw off, dick. You're pissing me <laughs> off. Hey, guys. Stone does this thing when he's really, really focused. I'm not showing him. God, he starts mean. like moving. His mouth. <laughs> hey, I'll put a clip. I'll put a clip on the screen. Stop. When I caught him. <laughs> Could you tell me what it's been like living with me for the past three weeks? Like a five-ish. I don't know what that means. So like one is tell, bad. Tell the camera. You suck. So like one is bad, ten is good. God, you're a tight dude. <laughs> but like ten is like good and then like. Sorry, I'll pick it up. Dude, <laughs> catch your shoe. So, can you finish the question? You were saying that I was at an eight? <laughs> no. You you're a five. Oh, okay. Solid five now. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get it. Oh, <laughs> dang Hey. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. And I'm not wearing socks. Oh, boy. 
Jeez, man. Stop, it's cold. Oh, man, let it rub in, dude. I am not sleeping next to those behemoths. <laughs> so, why do your feet smell so bad? Well, think about it. When you wear foot flops and you keep walking, all the friction, you know? And my feet, they sweat. <laughs> I know. You gotta wash them. Is Walmart open? Are y'all still open? Ten? All right. Appreciate it. That guy actually responded to me. Oh wow. And I know things gon' change. No, there ain't stopping fate. All the colors of ain't so I let it all fade. We made it to uh, Horseshoe Bend. Oh, this place is crazy. I'm right here. I just climbed up this thing. Everybody's over there. But not me. Because I'm a savage. Look at this place, man. This is so cool. Hey, down there, I guess I'm not the best angle for it, but there's people who were kayaking and pitched camp there. That is so cool. But if someone would like to come to Arizona, camp with me. Colorado River. I think this is considered the Grand Canyon. Horseshoe Bend, Arizona. Let me know. DM me. Let's do it. Shoo, 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 hey, ladies. There we go. Now you can see me. Hello, darkness, my friend. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> what? I could pull these things off. Oh my gosh, you look like your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I look blind. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. <laughs> this is good, huh? What'd you think? A little lifting like I'm a baseball player? Good up, <laughs> yeah, kid. What's up, Bo? My name's Chet. <laughs> it's good, huh? Bro, I gotta slow down. Warm food tastes good. That panda. Dude. That's your favorite, bro. You know, recently what I've been doing at work, since I go in around 2 and I get out at 10, I take two 15s, okay? Because to my two 15-minute breaks, I, do, I get paid for it. My first one, I chill in the break room. And then my second one, I take around 9-ish, because that's when they make fresh ones. Well, fresh everything. Oh, so you take it strategically to walk across the street to Panda. Walk? <laughs> walk? I like how that was your concern. No, I ain't walking. We decided to retire PB&Js for the night. And get some warm food. It's so good. Oh, bro. I'm fixing to cry. Don't cry. Also, we're here at the pool. We really don't want to swim, but we feel like if we spent the money on this hotel, we need to get our money's worth. So we're here enjoying it. I had to get the jacuzzi next. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You dream my Mountain Dew. You dream my Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm spazzing. <laughs> Made it to the Grand Canyon. This is nuts. There's a uh, like trails and stuff all around here. I just kind of snuck off to the edge. Because how can you not? This is insane. Look at this. Wow. This is not what I expected. Apparently you can white water raft the entire Grand Canyon. Um, it's like a month trip. That is so cool. I 100% would be down for something like that. Hey, if you're down, same thing. Let me know. I'm all for it. Gosh, I just... I just can't get enough. This is sick.
you're not really I don't think you're supposed to fly the drone here um but ain't nobody around me so I mean like you know what I'm saying I'm kind of like yeah you know what I'm saying I think I'm Are we there yet? Shut up. I have to poop. I'll hold it. Eli! I'm struggling with how this Ooh, is That's some good scrap wood over there. I'm trying to stop? That is some good scrap wood. Dude, look how thick that is. I don't think you is. can say that in the same sentence. Huh? Look at that. That's a thick boy. That's a thick boy! Die! Die! It is currently the next day. We finished at the Grand Canyon. For, we were there for a while. And then we went back to the hotel, enjoyed it, sat in a hot tub, finished packing, get everything ready. Now all we have is a 30 hour drive to our home. Yay! <laughs> That's a long time. To... We were supposed to do a bunch of things on the way back, but of course because of Hurricane Laura, those plans have changed. And so we're just eating 30 hours straight to home. Sleeping out of the car. It's going to be good and sweaty. Sorry, Eli. And we're only like five minutes into our drive and we're hitting traffic. I don't know, uh, whoa. I don't know if this is from the hurricane or I don't, I don't know. But hey, I got good news. What's that? I'm not sweating yet. Because we have two days in a car together, baby. Yes, sir. Woo! Woo! <coughs> Sorry. Don't, don't lose your breath already. So Stone and I's long one month, I think it's gonna be like 5,000 mile road trip. It did. It's just 30 hours of driving away from being done. Stone, would you like to close us? Action. Close. Yee! I don't know, I'm not good with closing. Just say something that you want people to remember. Stay frosty and be Gucci, my mangs. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words from Stone. <laughs>
I met so many people. I mean, going on the trip with my best friend has been so cool. And then seeing his dad, his stepmom, and just meeting so many people, going on the beginning of the trip with my cousins, and all the strangers that I've met who are no longer strangers. I got their phone numbers, and I mean, just, it's so cool. And I, I, I hope that this would be encouragement to you that maybe if you do have a desire to travel, maybe that you're struggling being with COVID, that you're locked away, or you know, whatever your situation is, that connections are far greater than the people you meet. And it's just so fruitful. And so no matter where you're at, to constantly seek meeting new people, put yourself in an uncomfortable situation, and be one of the greatest decisions you'll make. Now, something else that God has showed me, just because you are away from your routine, your typical pattern, or on vacation, does not mean you're resting. The only way to truly rest is to do so in Him. And I've learned that the hard way. And it's actually impossible to, to get this relief and this rest without doing so in Him. Someone once told me that if you pray and you walk away and you don't feel any better, you didn't pray. All you did was complain to God. And it hit me and it just made me sit there and it kind of painted this picture that prayer truly is surrender. It's me taking everything that I have, all the burdens that I have, all my requests, everything that I am asking, and just laying it at his feet. And when that happens, I'm taking it off of me and putting it on him. So when you walk away, boy, it's, the, it's just the greatest feeling. And then, like the next day, or even in that moment, God answers, and it's, oh, it's so cool. And when we take our time away and turn it into something like that, to where we are resting in him and letting our prayer and our requests come before him, that's what rest is. Time away does not equal that. Being on this trip and being away for the past month from my normal routine, I have definitely seen how easy it is to be on vacation and not get any rest. It's the only way to do so is by doing so in him. God, I, just, I could say so much right now. This has just been so good. Like, it's like I don't even have any energy right now because I, I'm just humbled and so grateful that, that God would bless me with this experience, but really with the insight and the wisdom and the truth that I can walk away and just feel so fulfilled, not because I went to a place, but because I learned things from that place. And I, gosh, I could, I could say so many words. I got a lot of them up here. I don't know, man. Glory be to you. Thank you. I think this is where I'll end the video. Yeah. Okay, well, you're still watching. Sweet. Uh, it's kind of cool you want to see me this long. Uh, yeah, thanks for going in the video. See you in the next one.